Before we start creating the scene that we actually want to work on, I just want to make a few remarks on how projects are managed inside Unreal Engine and what a project file actually means. As I mentioned earlier, the content browser is your library of assets. And those assets can be used in multiple different levels. And levels are comparable to a scene file in 3D applications. For example, at the moment we are looking at the level Firestarter, which is using those crackers. But then the level crackers is using the same asset. The level bang is also using the same asset. They are all accessing the same geometry. So if I change something on that geometry, it will change in all of those scene files. Even more, they're actually not just only accessing a geometry, but they are accessing a blueprint actor, which in a way is another scene file in itself. As you can see, it holds the geometry of the asset, but it also holds a particle system and could technically hold a lot more. Having said that, my recommendation is that you keep things neat. Just stick to a bit of a naming convention, make folders, especially when you work on a larger project, things get busy really fast. Let's get back to our project file and start creating the scene that we actually want to build. The first thing we have to do is create a new level, which you can do by right clicking in the content browser and choose level. Once you double click the new level, it will ask you if you want to save the currently open level which we don't have to do as we don't want to keep this level. After opening the new level we just created, you will realize this is completely black, empty, nothing in here. And this is exactly where we want to start. And right away I want to start by creating some folders, which you can do by right clicking into the content browser and choose new folder. And I will move the newly created level into the folder maps. By pressing this little button on the left, you can open the folder structure, which will give you faster access to the folders you just created. So to begin with, we actually want to import some geometry into our scene. There are many different ways of importing geometry into Unreal. We will go with the most traditional format, which is FBX. Press import, choose the FBX file you want to import and press open. Before I go through these options, I just want to mention a few things that you should be aware of when you are exporting from your 3D application. First off, use FBX version 2016. Second, you should triangulate your mesh. Unreal works with triangles and it's better to do that in your 3D application so that you know the exact outcome. And number three, you do need to create UV maps. There's not really an easy way to cheat around that. So just generate some UVs. Most of these options you can keep as is. These are the standard settings and they do work fine for what we are trying to achieve here right now. If you want to know more about these options, again, just look at the tooltips as they are actually explaining quite well what these options are useful for. But yeah, for us at the moment, this is fine as they are. From Houdini to Unreal, the official recommendation is an import scale of 100. For me, 10 worked quite well, but I guess I didn't work to scale, so it really depends how tidy your workflow is. And then last but not least, you should ideally have a material on your mesh already, but you don't necessarily need to import it. So I press import all, and then I will see this error. You will see this error quite often. The reason for this error is that Unreal kind of is expecting smoothing groups when it's importing an FBX file. The problem is Houdini and for example also Cinema 4D do not support smoothing groups. That's why you're getting this error, but in most cases it doesn't seem to be an issue. So just look at your mesh, if it looks fine then, then you're good to go. I have a few more meshes I want to import. You can also select multiple meshes, press open, import all and it's all in here now. 